to get the most out of your SmartRock drill rig, it's important to use the right settings. This instructional video will help you do just that. It doesn't matter if you are starting up a new rig or starting work on a new job site. When you start drilling with a new rig or on a new job site, it is important to know what type of rock you're operating in and, of course, the diameter and shape of the drill bit you're using. The following instruction is for the Top Hammer Drill Rig SmartRock T35. In this scenario, it is equipped with a COP2540 Plus and an 89mm ballistic shape power bit, all from EpiRock. The settings will be saved automatically under Drill Bit 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5, depending on your choice. We recommend that you start on Drill Bit 1. If you are moving the rig to other rock conditions, choose Drill Bit 2. By doing this, you can quickly and easily get your optimized drill rig settings when you go back and forth to different rock conditions and or bit sizes since you have saved them as presets in the drill rig's control system. The first thing you need to do is to find representative rock in the location where you're going to drill your first pattern. Start by using the rock drill documentation that comes with the rig and set all parameters, except for the percussion pressure due to local rock conditions according to the base settings in the documentation for your specific rock drill. Set the percussion pressure to 180 bar. The base settings are a recommendation on where to start. These settings will later be fine-tuned and optimized to your current rock condition. You are now ready to drill a calibration hole. When drilling this first hole, make sure you turn the drill control off. This is to ensure that the drill control system doesn't interfere with the calibration. If you see any regulation of the impact pressure during drilling of the calibration hole, please contact EpiRock Technical Service. This calibration hole needs to be at least 10 meters long to ensure that we get the accurate data needed. When the entire first hole has been drilled, the average penetration rate is shown on the screen. We now have the average penetration rate with the drill control turned off and can move on to select the appropriate rock hardness. This is based on the penetration rate where 1 to 1.5 meters per minute represents hard rock, 1.5 to 2.5 meters per minute equals medium rock, and 2.5 to 3.5 meters per minute is soft rock. If your result is outside of the given penetration rates, adjust it to the closest number. With this selected, we have a good base to optimize from. Notice the symbol in the bottom bar and how it changes according to the different settings. This will remind the operator what settings are active. All systems are now activated and work together to run the drill rig as smooth as possible. This is, however, not a smart rock performing at its highest potential. We have three main components to use when optimizing the performance of the rig. Percussion pressure, rotation speed, and feed pressure. It is important to understand that these settings are working together, and if one of them is changed, it is likely that you'll need to tweak another one too. We start by turning up the percussion pressure. We started at 180 bar and will now add 10 bar for every drill rod. As long as the penetration rate is increasing and we don't see the joints overheating, we can continue adding 10 bar for every drill rod. If the rig can't reach the given percussion pressure, the drill control is regulating the percussion pressure due to a high penetration rate. In that case, change the hardness setting to the next penetration rate level. When we no longer see an increase after adding 10 bar, we back down to the previous percussion pressure. Control the temperature of the joints. A temperature of up to 80 degrees Celsius is acceptable. We will now do the same procedure with the rotation speed. Start at the given number in the documentation. In this case, 80 RPM, since we are drilling 89 millimeters. Add 5 RPM until you no longer see an increase in the penetration rate. then back down to the previous speed. Make sure to control the joints from overheating. The last step will be to tweak the feed pressure. Start at 45 bar and increase with 5 bar per rod. As described in the previous steps, control the temperature of the joints and stop increasing the feed pressure when you no longer get an increase in the penetration rate. Back down to the feed pressure you had right before the increase stopped. Dampening pressure should now be within the green area on the screen. You have now optimized your drill rig's performance for these given raw conditions.
it is important to know that rock conditions can vary, even within the same job site. 